so friends, we haven't really been videoing. We've been uh, de-stressing, I guess, and uh, trying to survive the heat and in turn becoming more stressed because of the heat. Anyways, we have been invited to stay with these guys here on this land. They are a wonderful family. You should check them out. They have an Instagram and all that good stuff. They have welcomed us to their home and we've been able to park the bus here for the last couple of days. And tonight we're gonna have a yummy dinner. Justin is gonna make burritos. Figure we'd show you where we're staying and this weekend we'll be also showing you our closet. It's quite exciting, but um, we have to drive somewhere before we show you our closet. Are you ready? Friends, we made it to our destination. Welcome to Naples. Florida. We had a beautiful drive through the Everglades and we decided we needed a weekend to recharge. Plus it was Justin's birthday tomorrow. So... Also the Everglades were amazing. I saw an alligator. And I saw it's a snapping crazy. turtle. It's crazy. Oh. And um, we decided... Look, let's be serious. Traveling on the road can be hard sometimes. And I think it's really important that you take time to recharge. And so to do that, we are checking into a hotel room. We're gonna swim in the pool, we're gonna swim at the beach, we're gonna take showers, we're gonna self-love ourselves and chill and, for a couple yeah, of days. And celebrate your birthday. And then back on the road. Can you hear me? <laughs> Through all the wind. Today, we bid the hotel farewell. That was nice. Yeah. Oh, to water's recharge. great. recharge and swim in a pool and rest and not have to worry about AC or where we're gonna park. Free breakfast. Humongous bed, TV. I think a very, very, AC. very, very important oh takeaway, which you probably heard a lot of folks say, but we'll say it too. Living this life on the road can get a little bit overwhelming and stressful sometimes, and so taking your time to recharge and refuel is extremely important. However you do that, whatever that may be, just make sure you do it. Yes. Figure out what it is and do it. Couldn't agree more. So today we head further north, going to... Fort Miles. And we are staying at another Boondockers, and uh, there will our runway show will begin. Dun, 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 dun. So see you on the red carpet. So we're here, back in the bus. It's a new day, and today is the day of the fashion show. Chibi made a post on Instagram asking if you would like us to do a tiny house closet tour. Thus, we heard a lot of yeses, and now we're doing it. We will show you our closet once Azalea is awake so we don't disturb her. It's not a walk-in cupboard or anything. Fancy like how you probably would see on YouTube. Since we live in a bus, it's very small. Somebody's cupboard might be the size of our entire bus. 
<laughs> so I wanted to show you guys my belt that I pretty much always, always wear if I don't want to have to have a handbag with me. I got it at Huluween and it's handmade or leather with an obsidian stone. And it just has a front pouch, a secondary pouch, and then it has an inside zipper. I normally wear it behind me so it just looks like I'm wearing a belt. These are the only sandals I own and I wear them pretty much every day. <clears throat> Azalea, how is your smell there? This is our bedroom. And <coughs> yeah, Azalea, are you gonna take over? You tell everybody. Yep. We used to have two cupboards, one for me and one for Justin. Then Azalea came along and we decided we needed to make her an extra bedroom. So we made her a bedroom. And Justin and I and Azalea now share one very tiny closet. And actually, I do also have another secret space that we made into my area. And then we also have storage for winter gear. So let's begin. Up here is where I keep underwear and bras in this little basket that I just showed you guys. And this is also like hats, socks, azalea swimsuits, hairbands, suspenders. I'm space cheetah approved. This is a very old bandana that Justin wears all the time. Bowie knife. This is for high class outdoor gear weather and adventure days. It's a gift for more priest. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Vince. <laughs> Sorry, in house protection. Why are you standing on this bench here? Cool. Good for you, girlfriend. You want to go through your clothes first? Yeah, we can do that. Let's do Azalea first, she's keen. So we have two baskets here. This one's Azalea, this one's Justin. Here's Azalea, let's show what she's having here. Today she's sporting Ralph Lauren, Moonflower Child, undergarments. <laughs> <laughs> Most of her clothes <laughs> we buy from thrift stores and secondhand like kids stores, Once Upon a Child. This was a gift from one of our subscribers. It's adorable, Kilo Anna clothing company it's made in Hawaii thrifted onesies that's what she rocks most of the time as t-shirts this is a moonflower child original onesie sweet denim these were thrifted and I love them so much dirt bad dirt some moonflower child hair and pants her swimsuit Whoa. <laughs> Sorry. she wears a lot of these little booty shorts she goes out of it pretty quick this was a gift from my mom. She got it from Jada's Pretty Things. This is so awesome. And it's an old navy dress. From Costa Rica. Made out of bamboo. New kid on the block. Minic collection. And of course this one is super adorable. Long sleeve from John Lewis in England. Peter Alexander baby. It's a nice thin jumper. Oh. She goes through things pretty quick. Oh. Most importantly, hold the phone. We found these cute little red moccasins. A dog who decided he wanted to eat it. So we lost the strap and now it's hard as a rock. But good thing we have a backup. These used to be my dad's and he gifted them to Azalea with sand from Egypt. Been walking all over town in them. Well, that about rounds out her cupboard. Quite small. This belt has like an interchangeable buckle. Hamilton Davis. This scarf, well, I don't know where it came from. I have had it for years and years and years. This one was from Justin's grandma. It's an amazing, really big scarf that you can wear as over layers. Like wear it like this, all kinds of ways. It was my wedding belt from Kelly Kling. She macrame this piece for me. These are Justin's fancy belts. <laughs> Summer purchased this for me when she was in Peru. It fits my water bottle like a glove. And now I'm ready to go to England. Let the cold weather begin. Do you want to wear a scarf, Azalea? This is the one I normally put on her head. Ooh. Oh. You look so beautiful. <laughs> oh, wow, you look amazing. <laughs> These were a ground school. 
at Halloween. <laughs> I wear these on a regular basis, especially when driving at night. I actually can't see any. <laughs> Anyways, so maybe I'll just show you up close. This is my jewelry section. Moonflower Child, Feather and Stone. Her jewelry is gonna be coming into my boutique super soon. These are my wedding earrings. They're Moonstone and Mother of Pearl. Uh, Moonflower Child, Vintage Store. These are from my dad. This is a Moonflower Child piece with a turquoise stone from my grandmother. Big pieces down here, big stones. Handmade pieces from Africa. While Odin sleeps. I'm hoping to bring her jewelry into the shop. It's supposed, supposed to be a, like a fertility necklace and I definitely was wearing it a whole bunch before Azalea was invented. Free people, green calcite wrap that I made. Gift from my soul sister who now lives out west. Thank you, Alayla. This piece is a badass piece from, hmm, I think I was in Greece maybe when we got it a long time ago. Well, if I can take you down a walk down Hat Alley. Uh, we have a variety of hats here, any that you may need for all occasions. Hat number one from Brixton something something. We have this additional piece that just gives it a little bit of style and it goes on like this. Number two. My actual hat. <laughs> Goran Brothers. These guys are wonderful. Feeling a little bit western. I'll just take this hat. Let's go to the saloon and have me a little beer. Number three. This is just a Mary Poppins hat. Good for all occasions again, especially tea time. Thrifted for $5. It's my tea time pose. <laughs> well, Azalea, what do you think about Pops' pose? Would you like to thrive? You gonna try a hat? Oh. How about the western hat? Oh, yeah. Mushroom top. Very nice. For brisk walks through the park. Wait for it. Provocateur? No. Poor Wait boost? Poor bitch? Wait for it. Poor, oh, poor, how do you say that? How do you say that? I don't know. As you can tell so far, most of everything that we own is either thrifted or gifted to us from family members. Very rarely make large purchases on clothing. Normally, it's a steal, or it's a gift, or it's a steal. And if we do, it's something extra special. These are Ralph Lauren boxers. I got these for like a dollar. I got a tank top, long sleeve, tank top, short sleeve, short sleeve. A lot of them are just surf t-shirts. They're great, they're comfy, they fit good, and they're good for working in too. These, this is a tank top from some of our friends. It's the Banana Van Adventures, so check them out. They're an awesome crew. Got a good old pair of work jeans. We got a swimsuit. Got some khaki pants. These are some great shorts. My Quicksilver. These are my thermal undies. And that's my basket. My vest. This jean button up. It's a jam. I've had it forever. I love it. It's like my little sailor button up. Babe, tell us where do we buy all these like high cost clothes for a cheap dollar? Go to the thrift store. Or Marshalls. Or TJ Maxx. Or don't go to Ross, they suck. <laughs> Free people on sale a long time ago. So you can sell these on my website, Daughters of Culture. They're just really awesome jumpsuits. Brand is Monto. Um, and then this, TJ Maxx. I know what you're thinking. How do they fit all those clothes into that tiny closet? I know. Thermal dress is dope and it has like over 100 buttons on it. Just kidding, but it has a lot. And then this is another piece that I made um, a while back that I kept for myself. And I normally just wear these two pieces together, like over jeans and a t-shirt as like an overcoat. Thrift store for like a couple dollars. And I normally just wear it with a belt. Super, super sweet dresses. Um, this was my mom's, a super cute, like summery Hawaiian style dress. And then I replicated the pattern and made it in velvet. So we normally get into my closet like this. A new piece that I've been designing and working on, making some screen prints, so you can buy that on my website. Triple XL sweater that, as you can see, has been through a lot. I got it at the thrift store for like a few dollars. It's by Alber Bay and for very, very large humans. I used to make and sell like two-piece designs out of tapestries. Madewell pants. I buy my jeans in BDG brand. Got her work jeans when you live on a bus, you know what I'm saying? Sweatpants, overalls, sleeve top by Modi Couture. I used to sell these on my website. If there's anything that I've mentioned that I used to sell on my website, 
It's likely I sold out and I never brought it back on board, but if you guys are interested and curious, I would love to know because I've been wanting to bring clothes back and I would love to know what you guys are most interested in from Electric Rose. Here's the sarong that Justin greeted me in. It's pink, not peach. It's peach. Whatever. Anyhow, let's start the runway show. Forget to tell you guys about some jewelry pieces and other accessories that I have here. I have an armband that I love, a hair piece that I love. Um, I have these lava rock mala beads from a friend of mine. Her company is Mala Bella Snake Armband. This box I've got some other rings and such. Esmeralda anklets or bells that you can get online. Some other plugs. And then we do also have bags that we keep here got one leather backpack that I use and then I've also got just this one other long strap bag. Justin, let's see your backpack. Nice! Oh, camera bag down there. Let's brown this thing out for you guys. By no means are we minimalist when it comes to having clothing. We both like to have funky pieces, unique pieces, and thrifted pieces. Anyhow, yeah, we like our clothes. We hope you do too. And yeah, 
Never underestimate the gems you can find at the thrift store. That's very true. You really have to dig and go to good ones. I would say we're minimalists in clothing. We have very oh, well, clothes. yeah, in comparison to a lot of people, but we're by no means like people that could live in van life with the amount of <laughs> Well, I guess we'll just catch you guys next week. <laughs> this is an uneventful <laughs> outro. <laughs> Farewell. <laughs> Goodbye. Uh, Arrivederci. Uh, Adios. Oh Paka. Das uh, vidanya. Shh. Your time is up. Video ended. <laughs> okay. I don't, I, yeah, I don't really have much to say. Tell the elephant. This is, a, this is not really my thing, but I hope you liked the runway show. I hope you like the clothes. Weak <laughs> I think clothes are important. <laughs> <laughs> That's my point. I've always been into clothes. I studied fashion design in college and I like that you can change your feeling of who you are by simply changing what you wear. And also, just goes to show that even if you have a tiny closet in your tiny home, in your tiny space, it doesn't mean it can't be filled with loads full of funk. So get those closets and funk them up. Funk them up. Yes, funk them up. I think we're off beat. Oh, I didn't know we were trying to be on beat. You, you joined my Fuck it up. Do -do -do -do. Fuck it up. Do -do -do. Is that better? <laughs> Alright, now we're just dragging this thing on. Thank you for joining us, guys. And with that, we'll leave you with the punk. <laughs>